Men and women are given a choice to believe, a choice to reject the offer of eternal life from God. One day, there was a man and he was questioning God's arrangement about the universe. Why does God make a big tree with small nuts and a small plant with a large watermelon? It doesn't make sense. Just then, a nut fell out from the tree and hit him on the head. He said, thank God that was not a watermelon. <laughs> we have to believe this afternoon to what God is going to speak to us. Many of you today have many questions. You are searching for the purpose and meaning of your life. You have problems concerning hang-ups of various sorts. The problem of your unemployment, the problem about your health at the present time, problem about your children, the daily troubles communicated to us through the media, revealing the dark and evil of our time. Up to this present moment, the whole community of Mount Druid and the suburbs are in deep sadness and felt the loss of a little girl named Keisha Abraham who disappeared in our neighborhood. Yes, you are in the land of prosperity, a land of plenty, but many are troubled and many are lonely. Some are just existing but not living. They wish, like shame, not to wake up the following day because of the problems too heavy to carry. Shame testified to us by going nowhere until he met the Lord and changed his life completely. This is exactly that many people today are experiencing a life of boredom, a life of emptiness, and there is no meaning. But today, you will be given the choice to walk to another road and that will lead you to a road with there are many leaves of hope will be open to you as you begin to realize and understand that Jesus Christ is the answer to all your needs. Now the opportunity to trust and believe in the Savior Jesus Christ will be offered to you before the end of our meeting. I would like to ask you this afternoon to give the undivided attention and as you listen to the word of God, let us pray. Father in heaven and our God, we pray that your word will give us life and light. Empowered by the Holy Spirit, may you, you draw many people this afternoon to our Savior Jesus Christ. And we ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. I want to speak to you this afternoon regarding an absolute destiny of the future life. The destiny will depend to the choices you, you will make today to receive it or to reject it. In the book of Luke, the Gospel of Luke, in chapter 16, verse 19, and all the way to verse 31, the Lord Jesus Christ give us an account through the mouth of this physician concerning about eternity. There was a rich man who was dressed in purple and fine linen and lived in luxury every day. At this gate was a, a late a beggar named Lazarus, covered with sores and longing to eat what fell from the rich man's table. Even the dogs came and licked his sores. The time came when the beggar died and the angels carried him to Abraham's side. The rich man also died and was buried in hell where he was in torment, he looked up and saw Lazarus far away beside Abraham. So he called to him, Father Abraham, have pity on me, and sent Lazarus to dip the tip of his finger in water to cool my tongue, because I am in agony in this fire. But Abraham replied, Son, remember, that in your lifetime you receive good things. While Lazarus received bad things, but now he is comforted, 
here and you are in agony. And beside all this, between us and you, there's a great chasm has been fixed so that those who want to go from here to you cannot, nor can anyone cross over from there to us. He answered, Then I beg you, Father, send Lazarus to my father's house, for I have five brothers. Let him warn them so that they will not come to this place of torment. Abraham replied, They have Moses and the prophets. Let them listen to them. No, Father Abraham, he said, but if someone from the dead goes to them, they will repent. He said to him, if they do not listen to Moses and to the prophets, they will not be convinced even if someone rises from the dead. The story begins with two persons living. One is rich, the other is really, really poor. The rich man lived in luxury every day. Now he dressed, when you are dressed in purple, it signifies royalty, some kind of big shot in our time. He dressed in the most expensive brand, if we, we put it in our context today, the most expensive brand in the world. Now the Bible says he lived lavishly, enjoying everything under the sun to the maximum. He interprets material riches Fame and power as endless. Millionaires and billionaires today, they have their private airplanes. They can go places of the world at their own disposal, at their own command. They can have breakfast in Sydney, Lakelands in Singapore, and dinner in Japan. Now the following day, they have fun in the sunny and beautiful beach of Waikiki, Hawaii. The sky is the limit. Now the life of the rich man revolves to satisfy the physical appetite, food, sight, hearing, feeling, and touching. Now in contrast, there was Lazarus, a poor be beggar, laid at the gate. He was probably living outside the gate. In the night time it was so cold, in the daytime it was so heat, and he was living in total poverty. He was absolutely stripped of every good thing in this world. Daily food, clothing, social relationship, and a place to rest. He was in abject poverty. Now the only way to survive was to ask just the crumbs. The little tiny drops on the table of the rich man. So he could eat and survive. His body was covered with ulcerated sores. Even the dogs came to lick the open wounds in his body. The, the Bible says the poor man died and was carried by an angel to Abraham's bosom in paradise. The rich man also, the Bible says, died also and he, he was buried. Now the Bible says the two men ended their life on earth. Death is the cessation of life. Your breath is stopped, but it is just the beginning to see and experience eternity beyond the grave. We have one life to live and one borrowed breath from God. There is no permanent in this life whether you are rich or whether you are poor. Nothing in this world will last. Even the material universe as we can see the moon and the stars and this material universe called earth. One day as the Bible says, one day God will destroy this material universe. And then he will create a new heaven and then a new earth where one day when Jesus Christ will see to it that those people who will come to him, he, they will live eternity with him. Now you will be entitled to that new kingdom of Jesus Christ and you'll become part of the eternal happiness and the presence of God in Jesus Christ when you make the decision this afternoon to make him Lord of your life and Savior of your soul. Jesus said, I came not for the righteous but sinners to repentance. Yeah. Except you repent, the Bible says, you shall all likewise perish. The door to, hope, hope to heaven is widely open for you today. Death is an enemy and it will come to you. It will come to me, to all of us unexpectedly. Riches and our achievements cannot help you. Your silver in your gold, your investments will become no value to you. You will face another world 
word of eternal death and word of eternal life. People are putting their hope and their security on the things they build. It is like a wall of protection, a comfort for them, but it has no guarantee of eternal value. There's a story story from America, a Texas millionaire, and he made his will before he died. He wanted to be buried in a gold Cadillac car. That is a fact, and it's precise for every living being. The Bible says the poor man died and was carried away by an angel to Abraham's bosom. That is an appointed time, and angels are messengers of God for the believers. The death of Lazarus is not punishment or torment, but the starting point to experience what God has promised for those who trust and believe in Him. The life of Lazarus is a blessed life flowing with all the joy in his soul, peace, endless peace, and joy unspeakable and full of glory. You will experience the same joy, the same peace, and abundant life when you decide to believe and acted upon by accepting what God is offering to you this afternoon, eternal life in Jesus Christ. Now the, the opportunity is given to everybody once in your lifetime. That or life, heaven or hell. Now the Bible says it is not a man, God is not a man that he should, love, he should lie, or a son of man that he should repent. The option to choose is given to you to make your eternal choice. Now the rich man died, it was buried. Now the Bible says in hell, he was in torment. He will look up and saw Lazarus in a blessed condition and a blessed mind, body was restored to wholeness and health, and his soul rejoicing in a wonderful environment, prepared for people like you this afternoon, if you follow what God requires of you. Both of these men experienced physical death, but the most revealing things of truth about death is this, it does not stop on the grave. Many people today believe, after death, no more. Enjoy as much as you can. You can have fun under the sun. Find oh, every opportunity to satisfy your sinful desires in life. Booze and drugs and sexual fornication and adultery. Because when you die, no more place to find these things mentioned. The truth of the matter is, both of them have experienced all their faculties and five senses are all functioning normal. They could say, they could hear, they could touch, they could taste and feel the joy in paradise and they feel in the guy in hell and he felt the agony in hell. Lazarus rejoiced. The rich man mourned endlessly. Not only is the rich man in torment, the Bible says, he shouted, Father Abraham, have pity on me because I am in agony in this fire. Now the rich man was thrown to hell to suffer the most awful, unquenchable fire, torture, pain in his physical body. Loss of one soul is a loss that cannot be compared. The Bible says, what does it profit a man if he shall gain the whole world but lose his own soul? There is no profit or gain in living to sin continually, but it will ruin and perfect your soul in suffering. Hell is the endless place created by God for Satan and for the demons to be tormented, but in all